Okay, everybody, let's get started. We are in Engineering Management 1. Brand new course for ITU. Actually, first time it's being taught here. Um, so hopefully you guys are all Engineering Management majors or something similar to that. If not, don't worry about it. I think it's an elective for a lot of the other programs. So it's, uh, it's going to turn into eventually a core course for Engineering Management, but it's an elective for all other ones. And I've already had somebody ask me the question, what side of the fence does it fall on? Is it an Engineering course or a Business course? And the funny thing is, it's both. So, it's uh, so if you're an engineering management major and you want to know if it falls under the business side, because you have to pick, take six business courses, five engineering courses, and one math class, use it anywhere you want. It fits in both categories. It's not a math class, but it's a business class or it's an engineering class, one or the other. So, what is the class about? Um, what we're going to look at is an overview of the essential skills necessary for cross. Discipline, engineering, management. So does that mean? Well, management is easy. It's business, business management. You know, how do you how do you manage people, technology, change, innovation, product lines? Uh, do you need something? Oh, give it to that person right there. Perfect. T A. T A time. Uh, did I've already started? Do you want to? Oh, okay. no, it's okay. I just didn't know if you had something. Yeah, like two seconds ago, one minute ago. All right, anyway, back to the lecture here. <laughs> so, um, engineering is the interesting part, because engineering means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Um, and engineering is kind of like um, a generic term that people use these days. Uh, so in this particular class, engineering is going to mean technology, innovation, um, product development. It's going to mean a lot of different things actually, um, which it means a lot of different things in the real world as well. Um, so the management of a lot of different things is what we're looking at in this class. So typically looking at responsibilities for product development, manufacturing, uh, getting innovations to market, developing new technologies, implementing new technologies, looking at the infrastructure of the business, fundamental skills necessary for application of engineering concepts. Um, so it's a pretty wide open way of looking at things. Um, topics are going to include things in finance, accounting, project management, uh, execution management, marketing, communications, leadership, management of innovations, science, technology, you name it. So this is actually going to be kind of an interesting course, I think, because it, it is so broad in terms of its um, offerings. And uh, you look at the learning objectives, they're pretty straightforward, looking at the concepts, models, applications of knowledge, behavior, things of that nature. If you're wondering where this is coming from, let me show you. It is on a website. The website is bhecker.com. So for this is a first day class, so usually I have to tell brand new people where to find this stuff. So let me let me make the URL short. There we go. And zoom in. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oops. Now I have it real big. Make it smaller. It can go bigger, but it won't go smaller. How weird. Now, well, hold on a second. Bring it up again. Oh, it's really big. I'm going to make it go smaller. <laughs> Hold on one second. Yeah, zoom out. Zoom. Out. Let's see, wait a minute. Ah, there we go. Okay. I wanted to do this here. Let's see. Nope. Well, all right. Control alternate. Oh. No, wrong way. All right, so here it is up here. I was going to try to make this bigger, but it's not working for me. Uh, www.bhecker.com. Uh, where are you going to find a syllabus? So if you're brand new to one of my classes, I put my materials out here. And if you look under summer 2013, so if you're brand new to I2, this is important to know. Or if you've never taken a class with me before, this is important to know. The EMS is not available yet, so there's nothing in there. In fact, the class isn't even made yet. So instead of relying on that, I put everything out on bhacker.com. You go out there, and I uh, can click on uh, Engineering EM 900, Engineering Management 1. And it says that if you forget what time the class starts, it says it underneath here, 2 o'clock p.m. And here's the syllabus. This is what I'm going over right now. So this is where most, actually, all of the material is going to be housed. 
along with recorded videos. So as you might notice, I'm actually recording right now. You see this little thing on the open corner over here on my screen. You can't see it. it's really small on yours, but don't worry about it. If you miss a class meeting and you want to find out, well, what did they cover? What did she cover? It's okay. You'll, you'll have a little spot over here after today that'll say videos. And I'll have each one of the class meetings is recorded. It's uploaded there. So if you come in late, you want to review something, what did she cover? I missed a day or something. Then you can watch and see what you missed. So it's all recorded and it's uploaded to YouTube, actually. Um, but this is where you're going to find assignments, case studies. I'm going to go over those in a few minutes. Uh, all of the lecture material for the course, everything's up here. You do need EMS access to upload your finished products. So all of your assignments, your case studies, your assignments will be submitted through the EMS system, ITU's EMS system. And that was the official grading system uh, for the course. So, but in the meantime, before that's ready, it's not ready yet, so don't worry about it. Because um, some students have already tried to go in to see, but there's nothing there yet. It's empty. Actually, the class isn't even built yet. Oh, I don't have access to it, so I don't know. <laughs> but long story short, give it a few days. Um, it'll be available. Um, but this is where the syllabus is that I'm going over right now. And if I return back to the syllabus, um, so outside of the introduction to what engineering management is, it's going to take several weeks before you actually figure that out on your own. Um, it's kind of, a, as I was mentioning before, it's kind of an interesting topic area because it's kind of broad, way broad. And so are the assignments and so are the deliverables for the course. So the course is half business, half engineering. So it's engineering management. Uh, so we have some case studies that are what I call business. And then we have some assignments, what I call not really engineering, but they're sort of business plus, a little bit of engineering management kind of things. So we also have an in-class final exam, and we also have a midterm. Um, so here down here, the case studies, so we have homework assignments, five of them, they're going to be with five, um, with three points each, Assign excuse me, three homework assignments, five points each for 15%, four case studies of five points each for 20%, we have this thing called a CSLO essay that you'll have to do. Uh, it'll be worth 20%. A midterm exam, 20%, uh, which is going to be take home. So you have a take home midterm. The final is in class. The only activity that is in class that's a graded activity is the final exam. And that will be offered uh, during final exam week at the end of the course. Um, we're all required to have a final exam in class, so you have one of those. Uh, but all of the materials, as I was mentioning, are here. So if you look under here under assignments, you see three assignments. You go back and you look under the case studies. The case studies themselves are here. So you click on the link here. It says read case study number one. And it brings up a PDF file. And you read case study number one. <laughs> um, and then uh, you answer a case study number one instructions. So you can come in here and see what you're supposed to do. And it's about three or four pages of writing. Also, the, there's no programming in this course. The course is all about writing. Um, and so it's really more of a business course than anything else. If you're looking for a technical course, you got into the wrong, you're in the wrong class. Um, it's very much so a business course because usually engineering people, they have a lot of science background, but they don't have very much of a business background. So engineering management one is a little bit heavier focused on the business. Engineering management two, which is the next new course that comes out, will be more <coughs> technical. So it'll be flipped, so the focus will be more on engineering, less on business. But so you, both of them will kind of complement each other. Um, so in this class, we have no textbook. So instead, the case study readings are all here. All the assignments are here. Everything that would have to find in towards of course materials is here. What I've done is I've kind of split out the split out the materials a bit. So if you look under here. We have uh, technology management lectures. And then I have a section called managing innovations lectures. So these are all PowerPoints, by the way. There's like 11 in one and 17 in the other. And I'm going to go over a couple of them today, actually. Talk a little bit about it. Um, they come from a couple of different sources that uh, talk about innovation technology management. Um, there is no such thing as a, well, there is. There's a couple books out there called engineering management. But they're all cited. Either they're towards technology, or they're towards innovation, or they're entrepreneurial management. Or It's a very broad field. Very hard to find a textbook in this area. So lucky for you, you don't have to buy a textbook. There's no textbook for this course. <laughs> it's impossible for me to pick one textbook. 
if I were to buy a textbook, have you buy a textbook, I'd have you buy five books. So if you really want to do that, and if that were the case, I'm only going to like probably use a little portion of each one of those books. So long story short, you don't have to worry about buying a textbook. However, you probably will find yourself doing some internet research and uh, some extra reading on your own probably per topic. So, so let me go back to here. Um, we have uh, pretty much uh, you can guarantee that the final exam will be during the last week of the course. And you can pretty much guarantee that about halfway through the course, this is going to be a take-home midterm. So I'll, I'll sign it out. won't be available till about halfway in the middle of the course. You know, probably in the middle of summer, just like when you're enjoying yourself. Oh, man, midterm. And so you'll have a couple weeks to turn it in, to do it, to turn it in. It depends on how far we get um, in terms of what it is. And, and, and again, it will be um, a writing kind of exercise of some sort, maybe a case study or something of that nature, or maybe a research assignment of something. Um, the CSLO essay will happen at the end of the course. That will be due the very last day of the course. Um, and then the homework assignments and the case studies will be due on the last day of the course. So you have, uh, what's this? this is May something, May, June, July, August, about four months, <laughs> three or four months before anything is really due. Uh, but you don't want to like, you know, like wait until the last week of the term before things are due, before you start working on stuff. Because then inevitably something will go wrong. You know, you'll get hit with some work, extra work or something at work, and something will happen, and you'll run low, you know, on, on time and energy. Uh, but as we go through the course, I'll talk about the different assignments and the different case studies, and I'll tell you, you should be starting to work on this, or you should start working on that. So I will hopefully guide you as we go through the course. To, but there are no actual due dates for anything, except for the last day of the class. This is a graduate level class. You guys can work at your own pace. You know, take your education and responsibility for your own education, your own timing, and uh, spend the time that you need to get up to speed on certain things before you actually have to turn it in. So, unfortunately, though, those people who are not disciplined will wait till the very last day of the course or the last week and say, "Oh, I have stuff I have to turn in," and then it just ends up into problems. And we don't extend due dates. I mean, there's no there's no hope for you. You'll end up having to retake the class in that case. So. Academic dishonesty, I have to mention that as well. If two students do turn in the same work, there's no group work, by the way, in this course. No group projects, no group work. Everybody's on an island of their own, working by themselves on everything. Um, if two students do turn in the same work, nobody gets any credit for it. So it doesn't matter if you're the originator or if you're the copier, you don't get any credit for it. So if you don't want to lose your credit, don't give it to somebody else, long story short. Um, and no questions asked, we just don't give you any credit for anything. And uh, the grading formula is pretty straightforward. There's no such thing as an A plus at this school. 100% is 100%, it's an A. Um, most students will range between a B and an A, depending upon how much you turn in. It's usually someone who doesn't do something, who doesn't do the midterm or doesn't do one of the case studies or something that ends up with a lower grade. Otherwise, you should all do quite well um, in terms of, you know, if you are doing all of the work. Uh, another thing you may also need to pay attention to, although there's no grades on attendance, attendance is mandatory. You have to attend at least, as an international student, you have to attend at least 70% of the course, which means you're allowed to miss 30%. I don't know how many days that is out of 15, but you can calculate that. You know, so there's 15 weeks, you're allowed to miss 30% of that. <laughs> so I wouldn't miss exactly that, however, because what ends up happening is the administration will give you a D- minus in the course. I have no say in it, out of my control. It's just that at the administration will, will, will determine that on their own. There's a tenants that's being taken every day for brand new people here. Um, my TA is standing. Why don't you just raise your hand? There we go. She's the TA for the course. She's the one who will be taking attendance for us as well. Um, so make sure I did I have had last term, I did have some students who didn't realize that they needed to sign in and until like the third or fourth week of the class, and then they realized, oh, I need to sign in. And they missed out on three or four weeks of attendance. So attendance can only be taken in class the day of. So if you send me an email message later on today, hey, I forgot, I was supposed to take attendance. Can't do anything for you. As soon as the class ends, we turn it into administration. I don't get it back, ever. So sign in now or for never, never sign in <laughs> for the day. So, but don't sign in now. She, she'll do it at the end of the course. 
We usually wait until the end of the class uh, before they attend, because some people will stroll in probably within the next half hour, probably get some more people coming in. But this seems like a pretty small class, which is kind of good, actually. So Remember, these classes of 70 students, this one's pretty small, which isn't bad. That was a very quick run-through on the syllabus. Does anybody have any questions before I continue? No? You guys still waiting? Still trying to absorb what I just said? <laughs> All right, well, think about it. You know, one of, one of the things you could do is uh, tonight, if you wanted to, or whenever, go to the website, print out the syllabus if you want. Or you can just look at it online. Just orient yourself to the course. It's not a bad idea. So just make sure, you know, this is the class you want to take. And, you know. Yeah? Do we have what? We do. It's right here, actually. This is the syllabus. It's uh, that word document's right here. It's called the course syllabus. Huh? You don't. You just go to www.bhacker.com. You could be anyone. You don't even have to be in this class to go to that website. <laughs> if you type in, uh, here, let's just try it again. You might not have uh, internet access. No, nope, it's up. Oh, okay. But uh, click on the 2003 uh, summer and then click on engineering management. And you'll see it's right there on the top. And then if it's not on here, it's on YouTube, but there's links to everything on YouTube's on here. So you can link through this class to go to YouTube as well. That was a good question. Anybody else have any more questions? Before we start into our first couple of topics? No? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video short and sweet and then start the next one.